नमस्कार टुडे आई एम कमिंग विथ द थर्ड शेड राग इन दिस सीरीज राग बरारी इन माय लास्ट टू वीडियोस ऑफ शेड रागस ऑफ राग लाजवंती एंड राग विहंग आई हैव गिवन यू अ फ्यू डिटेल्स अबाउट सच रागस बट आई फील इट इज नेसेसरी टू गिव सम मोर डिटेल्स अबाउट दीज शेड रागस एंड mainly how to listen to these rags because unfortunately day by day these rags are becoming rare basically all these chaya rags come under the main classification of sankirana rags but i have used this term chaya rag or shade rag for more simplification when we come across such chaya rags many names may be unfamiliar to you and even the structure is very complex and complicated so some of you may feel like running away from these rags but i personally feel that all these grammatical details are very much important for the performer or the for the musician who is performing that rag to uh, sing that rag or to perform that rag correctly within the correct framework but they are not at all important from the listener's point of view let me explain why i said so when you listen to any classical music based hindi song composed by uh, composers like khayyam or madan mohan ji or for that matter any marathi song composed by khale saab or ridhanath mangeshkar ji do you try to analyze what rags they have used what phrases they have combined no you just listened to that 3 3 and 1/2 minute song as a whole melody and you get engrossed in that melody similarly when you listen to such shade rags or such complicated rags it is my personal humble suggestion to you that uh, please listen to such rags as a whole melody of 15 to 20 minutes and don't try to analyze it grammatically or technically let this analysis be done by the musicians or the music scholars with this we go back to our barari this rag has different versions in different gharanas in jaipur atroli gharana it is sung in three different ways the first version is with shuddha daivat that is marwa that version that version i am going to explain in separate video one version is with only komal daivat and the third version is with both the daivats so the version i am going to explain is with both the daivats let's begin with the bandish <coughs> कैसे कर
कैसे कर As I have already told that this is a shade rag, so this is basically a phrase-based rag. Now I will explain the phrases with reference to the bandish, and I will also name the shades of rags which you find in those phrases. <coughs> <laughs> You must have recognized this phrase. This is Jayat Kalyan. Sa sa ga ga pa ga ga pa. Now the second phrase. Pa. So this phrase goes close to rag puriya dhana shri, or even it it can remind you of rag gauri. Once again, pa dha pa dha ma ga re ga, or it comes like this, pa dha pa. The, now the next phrase <clears throat> ma da sa sa ni re sa ma da sa da ni re ga re sa ni re sa this phrase can remind you of rag puriya or puriya kalyan and with this all these phrases let us see how we combine those phrases and make it rag barari sa ga ga pa dha pa pa very intricate use of both the dhaivats pa dha pa ma dha sa re ni dha pa ga sa ga ga pa dha ma dha ga re sa so the complete picture will be like this ha
This is the whole picture of Rag Barari with both the Daivats. As this is a Sankirna Rag, you are bound to find more versions of the same bandish. This same bandish is sung by Pandit Mallika Jun Mansurji with only Komal Daivat. I am going to conclude this session with a composition. ताल तीन ताल कैसे कर आऊंगे कैसे कर
That was Raghbarari. Thank you and see you next time.